Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel where my neurodivergent and niche interests come to play. And today, surprise, surprise, we are doing more purse content. I have unleashed the joy that I have for handbags and fashion and style and am continuously excited and happy to be creating content around this on this channel. Today is an exceptionally straightforward video. We are going to be doing another collection. And this time we're gonna be doing my mostly vintage Dooney and Burke bags. And when it comes to my vintage bags, if I love Coach, I love Dooney and Burke. I am constantly and consistently satisfied with the quality of not just a lot of their vintage pieces, but a lot of their more contemporary bags. I have at least three contemporary bags. I'm going to do the vintage stuff first, see how far we get. And then if, you know, it's not an hour long video, I will do the contemporary bags as well. But first and foremost, we are going to be focusing on vintage because that is what makes my heart sing. If you have not already seen uh, my coach, vintage coach collection, I will leave that linked down below. But without further ado, so that we can get through this, we're just gonna go right into it and talk about ooh, vintage bags, which I look at my Dooney and Burke collection and it just fills me with so much satisfaction and joy. I just Again, if I love Coach, I love Dooney and Burke and think they are a fantastic brand with really good quality and also a pretty good price point area for people who want to start getting into really high quality vintage bags. I will preface this with saying I probably don't know names um, of 90% of the bags in here. They've been around Dooney and Burke since 1975, so that's a long time, a lot of bags created, and I am simply unsure about what they're named. If I can figure it out, I will leave um, a name up somewhere. Most of these bags are from like the 90s, early 2000s. That's an area, a time period that I feel pretty comfortable with buying vintage, vintage, especially with Coach and Dooney and Burke. But again, enough said, and let's start with one of my favorite vintage designs from them that just gives me all the fantastic, wonderful Y2K 90s vibes that I live for in my aesthetic and my everyday style. And that's gonna be these really fantastic, like, barrel bags. I absolutely love these. These are just everything I live for in an aesthetic. I really love the quality. I love the design. This one is in a really nice pebbled leather brown. I love Dooney and Burke's pebbled leather. It is so just absolutely hardcore and durable. That's part of why I love their stuff. They're all weather leather. leather. That's seriously what they mean. You want to swing it around and you're hanging with it and whatever and then you bring it back in and you give it a little clean and you give it a little bit of condition and it will last for you with you for many many years. I love the little fob here with the cute little going on here, the contrast stitching, just the really simple sleek just again I love this bag in vintage as well as contemporary. It's just love love this style. I will be talking about bags that I got instead of other more expensive bags. Um, that's a video I'm going to be doing soon. And these bags are really seriously keeping me <laughs> from losing my mind over not being able to get a coach swing zip. I understand this isn't, isn't a exactly the same style, but I feel it gives off a similar aesthetic. And these are exceptionally less expensive than the Coach Swing Zip. And as you all will know with me, if I like a bag, I will just get it in another color. And not only will I get it in another color, I love this early 2000s, I think it was 2001, 2002, their Nile collection, which is this lovely croc embossed. I never knew I could love faux croc animal texture whatever as much as I did with these bags. I've got many more. I just again I love the look of this. I do think it is similar to the Coach Swing Zip except the Coach Swing Zip has buckles 
not just these going on here and it doesn't have the lines going down but it is a very similar shape again just so much love take a shot every time i say how much i love a bag how adorable how cute how pretty it is actually please don't i don't want to be responsible for any of that drink responsibly i love the little square one on here some of them have the circle but i just I really love the square one going on here. Then this one, I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell on camera, but it's actually like a really, really deep green. Maybe you can see better here going on. Y'all know that green is my biggest neutral, and then we love brown and we love blue, and just, again, I love the quality of these, the glazing. This one is actually due for some conditioning and probably recoloring. Um, in the future, I am going to be doing a video just kind of showing the basics of how I take care of like bags like this, just kind of everyday, easy to condition bags. And so I'm going to pull out a couple that could do with a good cleaning and conditioning and recoloring. Next is probably my two favorite out of this style, aside from the brown pebble leather one I just I love the shine the shape the color the whatever here for being all fashiony this adds texture to an outfit gives you a nice elevated look all kinds of bougie 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 I love the shine and again I just if I like it I'll just get it in another color all the same wonderful things to say about it just in a different color this works so nicely with my wardrobe it's got the nice square one here as well just i love the slight shine the sheen to it i think it just looks really really nice classy and sophisticated i also like that you can take these off if you don't want to be so obvious with the branding and it just looks really really cool now most of those were in like the 35 to 50 dollar range this one here is the most expensive one I ever bought. It was 75 because the color just spoke to me. And that is this gorgeous, gorgeous mint number. I just, oh, everything about this brings me purse, handbag, joy. All the wonderful things I could say about the other ones, just absolutely doubly so. For this one, the color, the style, it just again brings me so much joy as a vintage handbag lover and the fact that these bags are like 20 freaking years old now and how well they have held up again Dooney and Burke leather for the price point is just such a good investment it may not be as high end and bougie bougie as some of my other ones but I mean even contemporary Dooney and Burke is pretty expensive but with that being said a lot of their vintage and other ones are a really good price point on that secondhand market if you know how to look and just everything like that I will be doing a video talking about navigating secondhand sites but this one just it's it's so pretty it's so beautiful it makes me so happy then obviously another if I like it I'll just get it in another color I absolutely adore this design again it is just a beautiful perfect time capsule example of that y2k 90s vintage looking bag again I never knew I could love this croc embossed texture as much as I do. I don't do actual exotics like alligator or snake or anything like that. That's not something I buy. But I really do like the embossed leather and there's actually a YSL Muse 2 bag that's mixed materials. It's like pebbled leather and then um, this embossed that I look at and I'm like, you're so so pretty this one is kind of like a mustardy it's not coming off as yellow and mustardy on camera as it is in person kind of like a tan taupe just goes with everything in my wardrobe color spectrum then i found this one it is just this perfect glorious green i love how i'm like it's just this green like you can't tell it's green again i think all of these are from that nile collection i'm not entirely sure because i'm not 
a huge bag historian. I would like to learn more and make myself a bag historian, but for right now, I know this is simply just from the early 2000s. I love all the design elements of this bag, that nice flat bottom that I like with my vintage coach as well. And I like these bags because I feel like they kind of evoke a little bit of the Fendi baguette, not entirely. And I have been, I don't think roasted is the right word, but I've put up a couple bags on the purse uh, handbag subreddit where I'm like, these look similar. And people are like, no, they look nothing similar. So apparently I have a bad eye for finding similar shapes and styles and silhouettes to other more expensive bags. But this really does give me that little teeny tiny kind of like, it's not entirely impractical, but I really like the look of those iconic smaller bags without spending 500 plus a Fendi baguette is on like my bag wish list, but any of the ones that like bring me joy that I would want to spend money on are like 800 plus and I just am not in it for a little bag for that much money. And this was like 35. Obviously, if we're getting a spectrum of color, we have to get the green and the brown. When it comes to bags that I like the shapes of, like green and brown are like the two. If I can get it in those two colors, I'm feeling fantastic. Again, just nothing but love for this design. It's just, again, for every... Well, it's the same bag. It's just like, I love it. It's amazing. It's just in another different awesome sauce color. And I do really like the quality of the embossed leather. I need to do research about conditioning because I'm not entirely sure how you would condition embossed leather. If any of y'all have any articles or any experience, please let me know down below because when I buy vintage, and when I'm buying quality leather handbags, I buy it so that it can, you know, be with me for a while. And that involves taking care of it. These next two are real close to my favorites just for the color. I love this color so much. If I could have a bag of every style in this color, I could die happy. I think this is. I'm not so good with color whatever. I will leave a picture right here. Or if not, if it isn't similar. But at first glance, this looked pretty similar to the color that Mulberry came out, that Malachite, which we talked about in my Mulberry Base Water Review. But the Malachite color is a new one, so to get that trickling down into the secondhand market in the price point that I want is probably going to be a couple years. But I was just kind of satiating my love for that color with this just, oh, oh, I love it so, so stinking much. Green brings me so much flipping joy. Then this one is a newer one. I don't know if it's vintage because a lot of people will have a video about this too. A lot of people just kind of tack on vintage as a selling point. They're just like, oh, it's vintage. And whether it is or not um, is going to be due to your own research and your knowledge about Dooney and Burke, the history of their bags. Beautiful, beautiful eggplant purple. It's coming off a little more maroony than purple on camera the gorgeous gorgeous pebbled leather that you can just swing around and abuse it ages so well so much of Dooney and Burke's leather um, even their more contemporary stuff again Dooney and Burke has really good vintage and contemporary quality it just weathers so well and looks so good this one was kind of just a I saw it and was just so, so in love with the color. It's the shape that I love. Just absolutely amazing. Next, I want to show you another trend that I have, which is the, if I like the bag, I'll just get it in another color. And this is, if I like the color, I'll just get it in another bag. <laughs> it's just, oh, this color does absolutely everything for me. This one here is a bit more true green than, I don't know if you can tell on camera. Yeah, this one has almost like a little bit more blue in it, a little bit more, I don't know, turquoisey, whereas this one is just a little bit more straight up green. I don't know if it's due to it being older or how it's been taken care of. This one is in a little bit of a uh, less this one was 25 and so it had a little bit more wear to it 
I'm going to do another video showing you can fix the glazing on here. You take a file or a, a soft Dremel and you just wear these down and then you can buy the glazing material and seal it off again, which is a pretty easy fix. So getting this for $25 in this color, in this style, you're going to see this again. Again, the buckles and the style, the nice flat bottom it is just all things again y2k 90s aesthetic everything that i am living for i really really like the quality of these with the really thick glazing and the very thick straps here that give it again for how old this bag is and for how well it's weathered especially considering that this one is more worn it just brings me all sorts of happiness and joy i love this it just flips flips back like that and you've got the zipper in here i just again everything i could ask for in a vintage aesthetic bag this one here is one of my absolute pride and joys it's the first one i bought in this color and i fell madly deeply in love with this this is like my i love a fendi baguette and although this one is a bit larger than what a fendi would a fendi baguette would be or at least the classic one i know they've got a whole bunch of different Fendi baguette this and this and this and this and more interpretations more versions on a theme and this just I just I know it's larger much larger than a Fendi baguette but I feel like it gives that kind of vibe where it's just kind of little kind of cool but actually bigger than a Fendi baguette so much more practical it really does give me the vibes that I'm looking for. And after I got this, I was like, I'm good. I can cool my jets on a Fendi baguette, kind of like the same way the Mulberry cooled my jets. Not that I could ever, ever afford one, but it cooled my jets on a Hermes Birkin because I just, I love my Mulberry. And if you have not seen that review, I will leave that link down below as well. But again, the croc embossed, the color, the style, the design. If I could get more bags in this style, in the like this in brown or this in black, I would be living those 90s dreams and living how I would, living my best life, <laughs> dressing the way that I would have wanted to as a teenager and a young adult. If I like it, I'll just get it in another color. <laughs> <laughs> Again, this is a design by them that clearly I love, clearly. I love the variations where you have the dark brown and then the lighter brown. I think it just really adds a lot of, again, that adding texture to an outfit. I remember reading that a lot when I was subscribed to like every single fashion magazine. They're like going breaking down outfits and they're like, yes, see how they add layers of texture. Second verse, same as the first. It's just all the wonderful things in a bag. It's got the same, just really nice, really thick, and then thick glazing around this area. And if you guys know, or you didn't know, you know now, one of my bag turn, turn, turn ons is a nice, beautiful, thick, crisp, heavy glazing on the edges. It just, just, does something for me. All beautiful, pretty in brown, and then all beautiful and pretty in, I think this is black on the listing. It said that it was deep green. I guess it kind of shows it right there. Like if it is green, it truly is like a deeper dark green that you can't tell too much from far away. I'm not entirely sure. They do make this one in black, but I wanted to get the green. Only time will tell if we'll actually get a black one in my collection because part of what I love about collecting vintage or just Dooney and Burke is you really can get a good price point. A lot of these ones have been like $50 and I know that's still a lot of money to spend on a handbag, but when you're comparing it to some of the other ones that I have, it kind of is a nice cheap thrill that's going to get you good quality. So it's very satisfying for me 
to get Dooney and Burke. These last two are my last. If I like it, I'll get it in another color. And then I've got standalone ones and my contemporary ones. I'm pretty sure we can squeeze it all into this video. This is the one I got first. And this one is just so gorgeous. The pebbled leather, the details you've got going here, the very subtle branding. I just think this is such a gorgeous, elevated, super high quality. I mean, if I didn't know that this was Dooney and Burke, I would say this was something from like Gucci or Prada. It just looks so refined and beautiful. I have no idea what this collection is. Um, I've got another bag from this as well that has the beautiful engraving and the pebbled leather. I just, this is such a beautiful little teeny tiny little impractical bag which y'all know i have a very passionate relationship with these are just so beautiful and this one i saw this one first and i saw one for 450 dollars and i fell in love with it and i put it in my likes to it would take a lot for me to 450 dollars for a bag this small and it was just sitting in my likes because i'm like you know sometimes when i'm going through i'll put something in my likes to just have for reference and then i found somebody selling it for 67 dollars and i said gimme 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 just so pretty again beautiful beautiful fantastic thick gorgeous glazing on every edge of this bag. They actually have this one in a deep chocolate brown that I've got on my likes, but they're asking 150 for it and I'm just not in it for 150 for a small bag like this, maybe like 100 or 85, but I mean the brown is beautiful and I have a tendency I will spend a little extra if I'm getting like a color that just, just mm, like green or brown, y'all know. From that same collection is this just, again, the beautiful embossing there, the nice, subtle, more subtle branding going on here. I just, all the details and the pebbled leather of this, again, I don't know how old or what collection it's from but like all the bags that i've seen all the designs with this just so so beautiful i also think that this kind of evokes a little bit more detailed a little bit fancier a little bit more ornate ornate kind of coach swing zip because it's got those lovely buckles there kind of this whatever shape this is kind of like a chubby rectangle but just these ones are just such amazing quality they're beautiful gorgeous again that pebbled sturdy beatable pebbled leather this does everything for me and even more and i obviously have my eye on other bags from this same collection this line this whatever it's just so beautiful to me and this was just kind of a I just stumbled across this design I'm pretty familiar with a lot of Dooney and Burke even though they have so much and this collection just I would like to see how many pieces they have they have one that's like a light lime green but they want like 175 for it and I'm like I'm good I'll wait part of secondhand shopping and part of what makes it such an investment in time, which is part of the reason why it's a more privileged way to shop, is the waiting and the, you know, doing research and finding what you want for your price point. I'm pretty, when it comes to my price point, I'm pretty good at like keeping it at that and like not going off the wall and being like, well, we'll just get this one that's so expensive. I'm like, this is how much I want to spend on this bag. And that's how much I spend on it. So we'll see if in the future I get more of this. But for right now, just, just again, so beautiful. So much joy. Happy, happy, happy. This one right here, just this is one of my absolute favorite bags from them. I adore the buckles. When I first clicked on it, I thought it was black with brown, which I love black and brown. But if you look, it's just a deep dark chocolate brown with this beautiful just so wonderful it's got fantastic glazing on it another bag thing that does it for me is beautifully rolled handles which 
this has i do love the way that older bags i know a lot of people when it comes to here and the oils and the natural whatever from your hands changes it and gets it darker i love the patina and the way that the weather ages i think it just adds so much character to a bag and this one is just so you've got compartments there and i love you've got the zipper here with the nice pull and it pulls all the way down into this so just the way it's designed and created so much attention to the detail of the construction of this bag the shape the size everything this was again i just came across it and fell so much in love and the quality and the proportion just everything about this bag exceeded because when you're buying second hand you know you're relying on your research you're not able to feel it and look at it in person so to have something that just exceeds expectations is just so satisfying on its own just i love this so much like i knew i liked it when i bought it but just the love i have for this is Mm. I've got two more that are vintage and then three that are contemporary. Again, we're able to smush all this together. This one right here. I love this style. Just the thick. I don't know if this is specifically Florentine leather. Their Florentine leather is absolute perfection. I love the green. They do this in like a light brown with dark brown, a black with brown. There's a blue one that is on <laughs> on my loves list that's a little bit more but when it comes to you know brighter colors like this it tends to be a little bit more because they're less available on the market and like I do say though if it's a color that is my absolute favorite I do tend to I don't mind spending a little bit more and the green just did everything for me Dooney and Burke does green so well the construction the fit just Mm, mm, the thick glazing and the sturdiness of this right here absolutely amazing immaculate again i would love to have this and if i like it i'll just get it in another color but these ones tend to be around the hundred dollar mark for the ones that i really like color wise you know and for the condition like there have been a couple i've seen for like 35 but the condition hasn't been something that i'm okay with buying so for now, we just have this one. This one here is one of the first, I'm pretty sure this is vintage, I'm not entirely sure. I love this design with this here. I've got a couple, they have quite a few designs with this little heart lock going on here and I love a lot of them. This is heavy, this is sturdy. Again, beautifully rolled handles love the stitching detail love the suede here the green they've got blue they've got black they've got embossed there are a lot of bags in varying um, colors and different leathers for whatever this line is with this little detail here nice thick heavy it's just gonna be like i said you can just swing this around you can self-defense with it and it just it's like oh I just beat someone and then I'm just gonna take it home and clean it and condition it up and it looks so amazing. Last but not least, I have three what I believe to be contemporary ones. I've got, whoopsie doodle, I've got this one right here, which is just, it has this smooth, beautiful, I don't know if this is Florentine or not by them. And then it's just got the beautiful, I'm not sure if this is pebbled or not but really beautiful thick luxurious leather that i know is going to wear absolutely beautiful that's one thing i love about them is you get the bag and you're like this is beautiful and amazing and it's going to end up getting even better with wear and age just a simple flip up flap cross body i thought it was just very elegant very beautiful i would love to have this in multiple colors they've got ones that are like green and brown there's a blue and brown one just part of what i love about dooney and burke is if you do like a bag by them 
they're pretty good with having a wide variety of colorways for you to find whatever your flavor is. Just beautiful, smooth, classy. I haven't used this one a lot simply because I'm a little bit paranoid of like getting it all whatever even though I know that it's gonna weather well. Then I've got this big one here. You would have seen this one in like my disappointing bag purchases not because anything wrong with it but because I'm a moron and I can't my brain does not comprehend dimensions for whatever reason. And this thing is just ginormous. This is probably going to be something that's more of like a travel bag. If I'm carrying a lot of crap with me, maybe if I'm like going on, because I fly so much, going through the air airport or maybe a long road trip, the leather is gorgeous. This just green pebbled, magnificent. I mean, it doesn't get much more beautiful than this. I got this thinking it was a lot smaller and was going to be like a nice Gucci Jackie <laughs> sort of alternative, but it's not. It is a beautifully constructed bag. If they had this in smaller sizes, I would really be interested in that, but I'm not sure if they do or not. They all seem pretty stinking large. And last, but certainly not least, one of my pride and joys that I do know the name of, this is the Amelie Florentine, which again, their Florentine leather, it will be with you forever. You can beat it, it weathers beautifully, the patina that it gets, the age, it just gets more supple and amazing while still being freakishly durable. It's got this beautiful little clip here that you can take. I like having it on that side, but you can also have this side here. The only dismay that I have with this is the fact that it you can't take the crossbody off because I like having the option of doing the crossbody as well as being able to hold it a la 1% and be like, oh, I don't have to care. I don't have to be practical. I'm fashionable. Gorgeous rolled handles, the stitching, the glazing. When I saw this for the first time, I went absolutely bananas. And I was on the hunt for this because this one comes in different sizes and I love this. This is like the a bit smaller, I think, but similar to the medium size of the Fendi Peekaboo and probably about the same uh, weight wise. But if you have an opportunity to get their Florentine leather, I have nothing but amazing. Flat, sturdy, just throw it in my car. I love, for someone who is rough and aggressive on their bags, Junie and Burke is a fantastic brand to invest in simply because of how durable and amazing the quality of their stuff is. Again, their contemporary stuff and their vintage stuff, just absolutely love. And the same can be said, thick glazing, beautiful, thick, thick, sturdy glazing. And just my face is freshly skin cared. Otherwise I would press it to my face. Just... <sighs> this is the good stuff. All right. And there we have it. If you made it this far, give yourself a big old giant gold fucking star. You deserve it for listening to me rant about my niche interests for at least 40 minutes. Not sure what it's going to be when I edit it, but it's probably going to be at least 38 minutes. So for those of you who've made it, thank you. I hope you enjoyed this video. I really love talking about all things fanciful and purse and elements of style and fashion that I like. Now that I've done this collection, I can actually move forward with some other content. I've been doing some fashion content, some more purse content, really get the ball rolling on, you know, discussing secondhand and, you know, consumerism and sustainability. As I always say, really look forward to just really exploring so many of my hobbies that bring me joy on this channel. So it is always a big giant thank you to everyone who is able to give me a voice on this platform for people who are willing to listen to me go on and on and on about things that I find interesting. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video or vlog. Bye!